I wasn't expecting company, but if you stay out of the shrubs and flower beds, you can stay. Give them a wave, Pops, now that you've invited them in. We're two old guys who enjoy playing sandbox and survival games together. I'm Uncle Craig. Go ahead and sit down. Let's visit for a while. I think at this point I want to do a couple of things. You'll notice most most of everything I have is up on foundations and well-structured. We have a uh, limestone uh, mining and cement production over there. We have cement production over here. Neither is set up in a very efficient way when it comes to how it's how the uh, the machinery is positioned. So I'm going to improve that. We can't really improve the throughput until we get the ability to underclock and overclock. So I'm going to take out uh, this post, and we're going to hold down Control, and I'm going to. Um, hover over all of this you can see it all turned orange and then if I hold down the left mouse button it all goes away in one fell swoop then let's see here um, get some platforms in but I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is put that there so that I can line this up and then I'm gonna put a single meter on this so I can line this up. We'll put another single meter on there and line this two meter up. Keep doing this for a little bit until I get a, I'm going for a certain height here. Yeah, I think that'll be about right. So now I'll use three meter and I'm gonna take out this set using the control and uh, the, hit the F key and then hold control while I hover over all that, get rid of it all at once. We know that this now is all lined up well. Put in, hmm, oh, there's a, get rid of this. I think that should still allow me to put one in there. Come on, there we go. And we'll put one right there. We're going to put ramps in on this side at some point, put that there and then something underneath it so it doesn't look awkward. I um, don't know if I'll put another level on yet or not. Let's, uh, let's get the miner back in and that direction, that should be fine. Uh, Looks like I can't quite line it up exactly, and I'm not sure why that is, but that's close enough. Uh, let me see if I got... Yeah, that's lined up on the world grid. <laughs> that miner looks off for some reason to me. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, I'm going to put in, actually, one uh, storage container. Uh, let's get it over this way a little bit. Nudge it over. I used H. Going to nudge it around. Three and let's uh, let's set that to straight mode. Then I'm going to put a a uh, instructor in right there. So I actually do want to get rid of these. And we'll put put them on this side. And I'll fill in on the bottom here with a two meter and a one meter. Save material. Well, wow. okay. Let's put a constructor this oriented this direction. We'll press H. I want to see how it's lined up on this side. That should be about right. There we go. And I'm just going to take the uh, the storage container out this direction. Let's see if it'll fit. Okay. No. Oh, well, yeah. Look at that. Let's make sure we're lined up. Yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay. And I think we'll put some ramps down this side. So, well, let's come out one more set of uh, foundation. Now you'll notice on this one here, it's yellow when I put it in because of this post and the post, I guess it looks okay. But we're going to put one more in closer to the equipment. 
closer to the machinery. Oops, right here. Got those hooked up. Make sure this is set for concrete. And we'll load this guy up with whatever kind, whatever limestone we have on us. And uh, in this storage container, we'll put whatever we have for concrete in and take one bag out. Now let's create a ramp back on this side. So uh, right there, and it's looking like that because of the, um, uh, again, the, uh, the power pole that's right there. And we'll put that right there. Now we should be good to go. Good, yeah. Now we have access up here without jumping or running around the whole thing. Let's go do that on the other side. I'm gonna make sure I have enough material. So we'll dump all the rods we have, take out one batch. I'll do the same with plates, wire, and cable. Uh, just to make sure we have about what we need. There's a stack. Go over here, do the same thing at this location. Press F, hold control, and try to highlight everything. I think I might be missing the uh, conveyor that's back there. We'll get it that way. Then I'm going to, uh, I think we can do it with two meter pieces of foundation. All right, now it's really close to this guy. Um, ink, but we can't, oh, look at that, funny. Yeah, so if we put it this way, I can leave those in here, and I think that would be okay. See how that, look at that. Perfect. I kind of like that idea. And we'll put those there. Might as well just fill it in. We're going to come this direction. Again, we'll set up a storage container right there there press H line it up that's uh, close enough right there then we'll put a um, instructor in oriented this way press H see how it's lined up there that's pretty good set, uh, set it for concrete uh, we'll load this up with whatever we have in limestone. And then uh, we'll put a storage container oriented this direction. This will be where we store our concrete on this site. And I'll throw everything I have in and take one stack out. Okay, now we just need to uh, get some power over. We'll go over to... Like, subscriber, get off my lawn. And then we'll go just one. Try to keep the power organized the best we can. There you go. Now, the next thing we want to do is reduce. See, we have we have wire coming down from up there. And then with just the wire, we were then able to produce cable. We have a similar opportunity over here with the rods. We're producing rods, and we could, without any additional material, produce screws. So what we have over here is the constructors pushing the rods out this direction. And they're going all the way down, meeting here, and coming through this at 60 per second, which is the highest rate of speed on the conveyor. What we want to do is spit them out here. Let's see, this will spit them out at 15, and it will, or it'll take them in, take the ingots in at 15, spit the rods out at 15. That's how we have four of them. If we were to switch the recipe to screws, you can see screws go out one every six seconds. Um, one batch, I think that's what that means. Let's, let's switch it for a moment. Uh, it's not going to be able to work properly because I'm going to switch it to screws, but we'll look. It's going to take in 10 rods. Uh, now the constructor is spitting out 15 rods per minute. To make screws, it could take in 10 rods per minute. So we have a five rod discrepancy there. And then it spits them out at 40. So we're going to get a little creative here. And 
uh, have these instead of spitting directly into conveyors that go all the way down here we're going to have them spit into a series of uh, constructors that are making screws now first thing we have to do is get rid of this container which is going to leave some on the ground because i don't have enough space in my personal inventory to hold them all then we'll just set down a container any old place here and put all the rods i have in my inventory there come get what's in this and we'll go put the rest over here that's just getting them out of way out of the way for the moment um, I'm going to grab an extra stack of those for now. So we'll also need to get rid of these conveyors, including the mergers and splitters. And because I'm, I need to be a little surgical about this, I'm not going to trust my little hover method to get rid of all of them. I know there's some tricks to doing that, but I'm not going to do that right at the moment. Also, uh, the power holes here are going to kind of kind of be in the way even even the ones that are right here i'm going to build some constructors along here so what i'm going to do is put a new hole here and i'm going to wire let's see wire this up to there and uh, we'll do that i'm going to put another pole here uh, I'm going to put some flooring out here. This one, I don't know why it's still sitting there. That one was not needed at all. I don't know why it was still there. Okay, uh, we're going to put some foundations out this way. We'll need those. I'm overlapping my hub just a little bit, and we'll be moving that at some point. Right now, we'll just let it sit there. Uh, we're going to put another, whoops, another pull there. And then we have the one there. So we're going to actually power this this pole over here. We're going to power from over here. Yep, just like that. And so we don't need this. Those are still powered. Uh, but I, yeah, I'm going to leave. Actually, let's. Uh, how do I want to do? Oh, look at this. Yeah, we're, we're gonna do this. We will take out that, and that, and that, and we're gonna power it from this pole. Uh, how did I do that? There, okay. Those are powered from here. Uh, these I'm gonna, how, let's see, how am I gonna do that? Uh, I think I'm gonna do it from back back here a little bit more so we'll put this there and may be able to leave some of these in there where they were but uh, let's see that one on the end I think I can leave you know what I'm just gonna shut these down for now let's not try to think so hard just shut it down uh, this now dead ends right there so let's just take these pulls out here. There we go. Well, it got quiet fast, didn't it? So this is going to take a little creativity. Uh, let's take this out for the moment. We got power coming down through the back end here, and uh, that's being handled from over that direction. So that stuff will keep running. Um, so what we're going to need to do is uh, right here, we're going to have a splitter. It's going to see the orange arrow. It's going to come in from back there. And it's going to split. And it's going to split into another constructor here, which is going to do screws. I think I'm lined up perfectly, but I want to look from the side. Yeah, I am. Good. Okay. And that will go here. Then it's going to merge right here so what's going to happen is this is going to spit it out at, at 15 oops look again 15 per minute it's going to hit here seven and a half fish i don't know exactly how it's going to work out the math but uh, uh seven and a half fish will come out this side seven and a half fish will go right there. well actually uh 10 will go in here uh, but it'll probably go in seven and a half ish at a time is my guess i haven't really 
done the watch the math on it. And we're going to have some of it come out on this side. This is where it's going to um, it's going to merge right here. Okay, so at this one. So whatever comes out of that is going to merge with this, what comes out of here. And uh, come on, right here. And it's going to um, go this this direction. Okay. So 7.5 are going to come out here, and they're going to merge with the 15. And it's going to be 20 some odd that hits this machine. And then part of that is going to go into another constructor right here so then 10 uh what did i do wrong there oh that's the merger sorry gotta be careful what i'm what i'm doing here this is the if i did it right that's the merger the splitter is the next one sorry so it's going to come from that side and it's going to split right there all right so it's going to merge here with this one going to split here with like a whoops like I said another constructor and it's gonna come in from that side I think it's all lined up perfectly and I set this one up for screws I did copy that paste it here do that one more time and then I'll show you uh, what we're gonna do on the output the screws that come out so here we got another merge going to come this direction, spit everything out this direction. So it's going to take what comes out of this one and this one, merge it together, and we're going to split again right here. Got that coming in, that splitting out there to another uh, constructor. Uh, look at that. We need some need some materials what we need is reinforced iron plates we need some screws first speaking of okay so let's get that constructor in and then I can kind of explain my thinking on this approach and maybe a lot of better approaches to this but I'm just using what we have at this first site for the purposes. This is going to come, let's see, we want a uh, merge right here. I'm going to spit out this way. And then a splitter here. Let me see if I got this. Yeah, I think I got this right. I don't know why I didn't hook that up. I'm thinking right here. Let me look again at what I got there. I got three. Okay, now I could do six, um, six constructors for screws that would handle the output of the three or four constructors of rods. But I do want some rods as well. And if you look here, this this has an output for screws output of forty. So with three of them, my output. Four times or three times 40 is 120 divided by 60, which is the rate of speed of the conveyor. And this will convey out into two conveyors at full speed. So it'll keep these three constructors working at full speed. The four constructors in the back with the rods will be going at full speed. And whatever's left over from what came out of uh, those other uh, constructors back over there, that's going to go into a storage container right here let's put it uh oops right press h and then nudge it into a good orientation that should be about right okay so this will fill up with rods that being the case i'm going to take all of the rods that are here and put them into that storage container Grab the rest of, well, I can just uh, tear it down, I guess. That'll give me the rest of those rods. And I think I'll have some left over in my inventory, but I want to grab a couple more stacks. And I'm going to prime these with uh, rods. Okay, now if I set everything else up correctly, this will do what I want. We Oh, sorry. 
uh, we're not handling what's coming out yet. So this is a little tricky too. So we're going to have a uh, merge here. Uh, if I pick up some rods, did I get rid of all my rods? What? There we go. Uh, let's, let's do that again. Um, we're going to merge and come out this way into a storage container. Oh, come on. From this one, we're going to split. This is going to output 40. We want 20 of it to go this way, which will make this output through this conveyor 60, which is what the conveyor can handle. And 20 of it will go over here, mix with that 40 and be 60 coming into another container on this side. So let's go ahead and put the merge there. Yeah, right there and another container uh, look at that so now we get rid of the hub and because I don't want to be without a hub for long we're gonna put it right there and not worry about the equipment uh, workshop for the moment now we should be able to put this right there oh and we need a splitter here right there now we'll see if this works the way i planned it but first let's make sure i got everything conveyed correctly nope look at that didn't didn't do the rest of my job here got this conveyed got that conveyed uh hopefully i didn't convey something i shouldn't have yeah that's trying to go in there that's going in there. I think these two are conveyed. Can't really tell. Uh, I think so, because that's trying to push there. Yeah, I assume they're so close they just work. <laughs> I hope. Uh, let's just hope that's the case. Okay. Uh, and that goes in there. So let's see. Let's make sure. Man, I just get, I got this feeling that I, I have something I didn't hook up right. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's put a power pole here. And uh, usually I don't like them clipping. I don't know why I just have this thing about the clipping, but I'm gonna go ahead and clip. There we go. And we will connect that up to there and up to that one, yep. Uh, I think they are, are they just backed up? Must be. Uh, oh, that's right. The, uh, the smelters are down for the moment. Okay. So that's here. Let's see. Good. Uh, right there. I think there's okay. Oh, something's still red over here. What is it? Oh, this one. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, because I can do that. Okay, uh, let's see. Get this next set. I want to hit this one, that one, and that one right back there. Then from here, I want a power pull here and burn that way I did that. Yeah. In here. That goes there. Is that it? Am I all powered up still? Wow. Take a look and make sure. Oops. I'm not gonna ah just climb up on one of these constructors. Wow. I'm really lame here, aren't I? Where's the, where's the ladder? There. <laughs> uh, old guy. Okay. Green, 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 green. Yep, we're all green. 